put your I can like walk around with this. I don't even have to come find a desk. You can do like, whatever y'all. you want. I can do whatever I want right now. This but sit down, sit down right now. We got to talk to you. This is an intervention, guys. Today on the show, we got Bryce Hall. Every episode is an intervention. Shh, Stephen, <laughs> let me host the show real quick. You're on thin ice. We have Bryce coming on shortly. Probably about ten minutes in, he'll pop in. But I have the boys here, bathroom boys, back there, ready to go. We got everything firing off. We just want to get rolling. Just want to take a little time in the beginning, just to kind of settle in. And use this time to have a chat with Steven because he hasn't been around for a while. And there's a reason for that we're about to get into. Uh, we have Cody here. Cody, you guys are familiar with him. Some of you may have issues with him being around, but he's here to stay. Some of you might not be happy about that. The viewers at home and the people here. Well, he's just like for good, like saying for good. He, yeah. Like every day? Yeah, he's going to be around permanently. Get used to me, Steven. Now, we have Bryce coming on, and I know the running joke off camera was what happened to Steven. Cody here hasn't been around for about six months. He came back, and he was like, where is Steven? And I was like, ah, oh, we lost him. He's doing coke with Bryce Hall. And now I know this is a Not joke. True. You haven't been doing coke. You haven't been hanging with Bryce Hall. It's just like, that's a way of us saying that you have become too Hollywood to hang out with us. Yeah. You've outgrown our crew. I'm sorry. And you want to take it your own route. You believe in yourself to do it on your own, or you want to do things with Bryce Hall. You want to get involved in drug use. You want to hang out with these clout people. And look, we got Bryce coming on. I got fucking clout. If I want to really dig into my clout and ask people to come on the show, I can. I just like shooting with Mike and Tana every week because it's easy. But we have Bryce coming today, and we're going to get to the bottom of what's going on with you, what's going on with him. I heard he used drugs to fix his brain. Psilocybin. He, he used mushrooms. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Microdosing. This is microdosing though. Microdosing, whatever. It's still drug use. And yeah. we wanted to talk to you about that. Cody has a lot of experience with drugs and selling drugs, taking drugs, uh, addiction, jail time. You guys were just having a chat about the song Last Christmas. <laughs> uh, you really like that song. It's we a have a special song. bond about that song. And then Cody said to you that he would murder you to that song and he would put it all the way up so nobody would hear the screams. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty scary. I don't like it's, it's like that song to me is like a very like a welcoming home. It's a homey song, song yeah. that makes you feel good and happy. Uh, now, good times. What makes you feel that it's a welcome homey <laughs> song? Because it's a Christmas song. It's a beautiful masterpiece. If you listen to the lyrics correctly, it say this will be your last <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's yeah. That's a good. I mean, you could, I'm, inter I'm interpreting it the way I'm interpreting it, and you want to interpret it on some emotional, soft, mushy way. Go ahead. Me and you, I'm, I'm not emotional like you. I know how to control Sometimes my Sometimes <laughs> I could see where you're coming from, and I see where you're coming from. The song Last Christmas is a beautiful, very homey song. It could give you a good feeling. Thank you. But so sometimes, soft? Some, okay, I mean, I well, guys, we're getting sidetracked. I wanted to get into addiction and drug use and how cocaine can be a, a dangerous road to go down. Cody, you had a problem with cocaine. You used to do it every day. Every day. With Adderall and Xanax. S sober? Not like... No, I used to crush drink? it up. I used to do like cocaine. All right, so it was white. The Adderall was orange. And then the Xanax was either green or yellow. And I used to sniff it and I used to go oh. taste the rainbow. <laughs> every morning. Look at those nostrils. Go back. You could see his brain. You could look right in there. I could see where you're thinking. Steven, you cannot be in denial. I've been in this Hollywood life for a long time. I know you were doing coke in Staten Island. It, it became a normal thing out here that when I was hanging out, girls wouldn't even ask me my name. They would be like, "Hey, you got a bump?" Yeah, and then I would give and them a bump, the bathroom and, then and then we would exchange names. Would you go to the bathroom and do it, or we just do it in front of everyone? I just do it care. in front of everybody. I didn't give a fuck, really. Oh yeah, because they would want it, and but sometimes I would do it in the bathroom because I didn't know they wanted to know I had it, so they wouldn't ask me for it. So look, now we're talking about it. Like you're just talking about the good. That came out of it. The girls all asked you for it. I wanted you to go down like the bad route. What were the negatives that came out of it? Okay, so the negatives that came about it, at first it was fun and it was an enjoyment, but eventually when you start doing it every day, okay, so you're up, right? 16 hours a day, you only sleep eight hours of the day, right? So if you're contaminating your body constantly, constantly with cocaine, you're basically becoming very toxic and your mind's becoming weak. Ugh. You're not working out. You're just putting all this stuff into your bloodstream. So eventually, it comes to a point where you hit this phase of cocaine cytosis, where you become very paranoid, very in your head. You come overthinking. You start thinking like the police are after you. And it depends how deep you are in criminal activity. You think that people are on to you. Everybody's out uh, to get you. For you, it could be the like my TikToks are not, yeah. no, not no, no, doing good. No, no, the next morning is bad. I used to stare at the cameras 
for a long time outside my house watching thinking somebody's gonna ambush me there's been one time i was so coked up i ran out my house and called the ambulance on myself oh my God. i was like come fucking pick me up <laughs> i'm fucking seeing things i was like please and there was a time i ran down the block i ran to an ambulance and i opened the front oh God. door i was like oh let me God. the fuck in i would freak and they out saw, and, then, the and then the ambulance people were freaking out <laughs> yeah they called the cops they put me in the stretcher <laughs> They brought me to the hospital and shit. Oh my god. I fucking shit my pants. I oh, cleared ew, out the dude. whole emergency room. Ew. They strapped me down. I was like, what the fuck is ew, going why'd on? Why'd you pee your pants? What? Bro, because That's like, so my body, my nerve system was just so fucked up. Ew. I was just so coked out of my mind. When ew. was this? When was in this? <laughs> <laughs> was this before my Bro, I, think, I think I called the cops. On myself and the ambulance on myself at least three, four times in my life. Are we able to tell the story about when you, the gun? When you get caught with a gun? Yeah, yeah, we can tell whatever. So one time Cody was, uh, he was dropped. I mean, this is a long time ago, so you're exonerated of all these crimes now. It's yeah. been over 10 yeah, years. Yeah, I don't care about any of it. He's been in jail. You got pulled over yeah. and you were messed up. You were on some stuff. You were on maybe Xanax. I was 21 years old. 21 years old. And I tried to manipulate the law enforcement. I lived in a real bad neighborhood of minorities where we were easily targeted because I was white, but I was doing the same thing that other white kids were doing on the other side of Staten Island. Whatever. Make a long story short. Everybody knows everybody in Staten Island, the local cops, the PD, everything. So basically the cops, I, uh, I got caught with some narcotics. I try to tell them like, oh, like, you know, if you well, you had seen in the precinct that the cops in New York were trying to get rid of all the guns. So you had seen that they had a reward well, the, the, $500 yeah, the, for, yeah. uh, if you return a gun. Yeah, yeah. What, what so precinct? you told the cops. Yeah, saying precinct. So, so look, the, the precinct is like a police station. Yeah, they, oh. in New York, they call them precincts. So basically, I used to see the sign, $500 reward, turn in a gun. So, so he, his mind goes, wait a second, I got an idea. I'm going to negotiate with these cops right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> And I'm going to get $500. <laughs> okay? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so he tells the cop, officer, listen, I know you guys are looking for guns. I happen to have a gun or know where one is. Can I go get you that gun? And maybe we could, you know, talk about letting this slide. So, of course, the cops, he was on a bunch of drugs at the time, so this seemed like a good idea. Now, the cops are like, oh, yeah, bring us to the gun. You know, they're about to get a gun charge, too, in New York. So that's which is a serious thing. That's yeah. a nice. That's a nice thing. A yeah. nice fine. They find Wait, a gun so off a criminal. What is the, What are you supposed to do? Bring okay, this gun, is, like a, this no, was a negotiation is, tactic. Cody was going to jail no matter what. He got arrested with Xanax, oh. a bunch of drugs on him. He was going to jail. So he said, "Wait a second. I remember seeing those things in the precincts that said five hundred dollar reward for a gun." But what does that so mean? So I'm going to return. If you have a legal gun? No, like, no, no. This was just anybody returns a gun return to the gun, police station. Yeah. Then you would get five hundred dollars. Not for a criminal that's already detained and yeah, is going oh, to jail. Yeah. Found a gun on the he tried to use it to blackmail the cop. Yeah, like, I try to blackmail the cops and oh. manipulate the situation. Because if you found the gun, usually people call the cops, hey, come pick it up. I found oh, it. But yeah. I was already in trouble yeah, in yeah. handcuffs. Now, <laughs> now the cops are looking at this guy like, no way <laughs> is this like, guy yeah. just offering us up this gun on a silver platter or about to charge this yeah. guy with a gun. And he takes him to his house, gets the gun, and gives it to the cops. And he just gets another charge. They just gave him a gun charge on yeah, top of everything the else. They the gun, they so they added cross. more charges on yeah, now. They now they me, have the gun. They gave me ammunition, firearm. Mm -hmm. So they, they played it like, like, oh, okay, cool, so it's right here. Yeah, they played me. These are the things that cocaine will make you do. They'll make you think giving a gun to the cops is a good <laughs> idea. Hey, officer, I have something you might want. Follow me. <laughs> And they slapped the cuffs on you. Now you're going to jail for years. Anyway, back to Stevens' cocaine uses. If but, you want to cool oh, the ambulance okay. on off, yourself, let's, 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 I'll put this out there. I, I did do coke. Okay, mom and dad. Oh my god, this what is did so you like about it? What, did, so what, did, what are I did some... it for a month, like three months ago, for like a month straight. I was going out every night, partying, drinking, and it, I would. I never did it sober, and I never purchased. I never spent a dime on coke. It was only just from other people, and I make them do it. And for that month, ten look, minutes, that so month is what what caused this all, is, all this. But you're condoning. You're condoning the behavior because you no, never spent the time. You I sold finish. drugs. <laughs> I sold finish. coke and I didn't look at it like that. Like, oh yeah, I'm not putting needles in my arm. I shower. You did, yeah, how'd finish. you start vaping? How'd you, you start vaping? Did you say, the you know what? Vaping <laughs> sounds fun. I'm going to go out and buy my own vape to start. No, your friend had it and you got a couple free hits I and now you can't get out of bed without I didn't it. I get to finish the story. And yo, Steven, if we didn't care about you, we wouldn't even bring this up. I would be like, yeah, 
fuck oh you do coke, bro. I know. I did Actually, it for I'm going to sell you coke. <laughs> I did it for... I did it for... I experienced a paranoia. The ne- no, 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 no. You know what it, the turnoff was? Was the hangover. Give story. me this guy's employee thing. check, Jeff. I'm going to give him coke. And we'll you just give me- pay him in coke. We'll just pay him we'll in coke. We'll buy the coke for you. We'll take our profit off, and now you get paid in blow. Nice, and I'll cut it too, so it's even oh, fucking right. chopped down yeah, even nice. more. You'll be doing coke with baking soda. Yeah. I don't use cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, where I was, I was trying to finish the the, the the turnoff from coke was that the hangovers are so bad and unbearable, and it'll freak me out. The worst anxiety, and because you just fried home. your brain, you yeah. just sniffed. Yeah, chemical narcotics, and it's just sitting there. Well, Hold I also learned there's there's slow like, down, everyone. There's slow, concrete. Slow yeah. down. We're not in a rush here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What did you like about the coke? That it, made, it brought the drunkenness down. It made, it made the night go longer. Did you think and it helped girls, with your anxiety? Girls are always like leeching towards you if you have awkwardness. Coke. You think it no, made you no feel super confident? Yeah, did confident. Did it make, did it make your dick hard or the, soft? I couldn't get hard. I had sex once with, on coke, and I nice. couldn't do it. Nice. You got lucky. You didn't have the limp shit. Do you think I have no, I did. I d- it didn't work. Oh yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. I got Cialis so if you need. There, there, there's that. Listen, there's the your. <laughs> we're penis. trying to get him off the drugs. Well, the, yeah, I, I, I am. Uh, the, your okay. penis doesn't. Work. Sorry, penis. We were dick doesn't work. You, uh, I'm extremely paranoid the next day. The hangovers make me want to kill myself. Sorry, it just made me really and depressed. depressed. Depression. Yeah, Don't depression say sorry, Stephen. We're, this is a, the realest show on the internet. And then I read a a, a book and about like just this guy doing coke. And it was the grossest thing ever, and it was just such a turn off. Yeah, but like, eventually, if you it. keep doing it, like me, even though I stopped doing drugs, I done drugs for most of my life, from 19 to like, no, even before that, from 15, I took my first ecstasy. From 15 to 29, I done drugs, uh, a shitload of them. And the thing is, eventually, you cause a chemical unbalance in your brain. Yeah. So eventually, you're gonna be have like me. Now I rely on fitness to keep me sane. Because I don't like you have to get serotonin yeah. from other places. It doesn't yeah. just come naturally. Yeah, but some people have know, to take psych serotonin is like a boost of happiness. Yeah, and skydiving and adrenaline. I chase all this other stuff now. Well, I, I quit doing the coke, and then it's been like um, it was two months, and then Steven, after that I quit drinking. I just like stopped having drinking in like a month. You just drank right now, yeah, some wine. Don't lie to me drunk. on the show. Getting drunk, like I haven't gotten drunk. Lying. Like a, He's lying. Wow. That's getting drunk and enhances the craving to want to do it. Duh. <laughs> I'm just saying, some people have never done it before. I don't know. I'm just talking. Yeah, now was what? Like because I know this has been a running joke, and he's about to come here. Was Bryce an enabler of this behavior? No, I've hung out with Bryce twice at so, a movie theater, and I went to his house to film. Once. Okay, so all the times we've been saying this is just something that I I'm made sober. up in my brain. Yes, you okay. and Mike made a ongoing joke that I hang out with Bryce and do coke when that's not true. All right, a quick word from today's sponsors: DoorDash. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home cooked favorite but don't feel like going to the store. DoorDash connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want it. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Every time you place an order for pickup or delivery, you're setting up a chain reaction that helps give back to people who make your neighborhood unique. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, or Cheesecake Factory. With DoorDash, you're not just getting things you love, but supporting the community you love too. From the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved. With DoorDash, there's a neighborhood of good in every order. I personally like to use DoorDash because I like to spend majority of my day working on things that will make me money so then I could pay a door dasher to do their job and get me my food a little quicker and I don't waste time cooking it and, and doing all that stuff. DoorDash just helps me with my everyday life and it can help you too. Even if you want to cook, it can help you too because you could just get the ingredients and you could still cook. Whatever works for you. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM22. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM22. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM22 for 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Uh, We just talked a lot about uh, the Hollywood lifestyle, drug use, how it could take you down a dark path. And sometimes it's positive, though, because I've been watching your stuff lately. Really funny stuff. I I like your recent content that you've been putting out. I saw that you said that you had a kind of like a mushroom reset. Yeah, I did. 
Wait, was it microdosing or was it actually like a, a bunch? Oh, no, it was a bunch and it was all oh. because of Johnny actually who's here. Oh, God. Johnny. He doesn't take mushrooms and he was he was tripping out. So then I was like, okay, I got to guide him through this journey. Yeah. Ended up being like, I was not a good guide. I just took way too many. Yeah. And then, what? yeah, just I had a crazy little experience. We've been talking a lot. We have a running joke saying that Steven's been hanging with you and, and doing. He snuck I, into I, my I, house the other yeah, week, actually. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So Steven actually hasn't been hanging out with you that much? Uh, hang out, like twice. And he thinks that we're like best friends now. We've been hanging out. No, we're like, like, we're like boys and shit. Yeah. Like, back, I mean, me, back me up like, here, guys. Yeah. Is this not like a, a... Who told me? Who put this idea in my head that Bryce was corrupt in Steven's fragile mind? <laughs> I kind of do, though. Did I just make that up in my head? Yes. I have noticed that, that you have been getting a lot more party social Bad. vibes. Yeah. And uh, every time I see you, you're a little drunk. Yeah, he's well, acting like a yeah. He's like him, a I, fucking. I, I want over now. I'm done. I I, I quit drinking no more. Because I didn't realize that the LA party scene is like it will like consume your life. And yeah. then like the, it's just like a day like you party one night and the next day you take a day off. Or at least if I do because I'm lazy and fat and I get so hungover that I just don't want to do anything. And then the next day I go back into it. It's, it's a just a, a cycle. You're starting to become more and more like Bryce every single day. Look at that hair. <laughs> yeah. Those bangs are coming oh down he now. Dude, he's starting to get the fuckboy hair, yeah. <laughs> I, I, but I've had this for a while, and then he made me go bald, and it was the ugliest thing ever, so now I'm going back to this. Those are the days. Those are the best days where you would just come in, do any stupid haircut, and show your dick off to everybody. How old are you now, Bryce? I'm 23. Look at that. 23 years old. He's yeah. the same age as you guys. 23-year-old man. Yeah, you own a property? Uh, Two. Damn, good about for to you. Be three. What? Hell yeah. Where's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 23 years old, bought two properties. Nice. Well, you doing the right thing. Do you rent that that place? Uh, no, I, so I bought one in Vegas, uh, and it was actually because I got hit with taxes last year, and it, and I, I just immediately was like, fuck it, I gotta buy a house in Vegas, and I was trying to do Nevada taxes. I ended up staying in LA, so I had to pay California tax again, and then I just bought my mom a house in Florida. And now I'm buying a house here. Congrats, dude. That's, that's look, look, he's in yeah, disbelief. He's in disbelief. He's not spending his money on cocaine. He's buying houses. Yeah, yeah. we had it all mixed Duke. up. Oh, my God. I saw you doing that. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, there you go. You <laughs> there you go. You're in denial. <laughs> what? That's got to feel good, though. Yeah. Buying yeah, your mom good. a house. Yeah, that was my main goal starting social media. That's sick. Yeah. So it was sick. like it was like a, now what? What the fuck do I do now? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a feeling every social media person has. You know, you do one thing, and then I guess it's just, I guess I'll just make another video, you know? That was my goal, but I've been doing it for nine years, and then I finally accomplish it. Actually, out of out of the blue, it wasn't even like I was planning to do it. It was okay. My mom found this dream home, and I'm in the middle of shooting the movie with with Fifty Cent Skill House, and I just signed the papers and I get the house while I'm in the middle of shooting. So you just wrapped this movie? Yeah, it, it, like a few months back. Yeah. With Fifty? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Damn. Yeah, that's, like, that's sick. You gonna fight again? Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, but, but it's like if it if it, it doesn't make sense. So like KSI was going on some YouTube channel. I think it was the Sidemen channel. He where he's saying I was asking for too much money uh, to fight on his card. Everyone's starting to now realize that I was the promotion behind the entire Social Gloves event. Yes, I did seem like a little cockhead douchebag, but that is how you promote fights. You have to act like That's Conor McGregor. Yeah. Look at Conor McGregor. Yeah. Obviously, I can't fight like Conor McGregor. That's not my profession. But I am an entertainer. That's what I do. So I was the promotion behind the Social Glove events. You see the second one, and it was like, what, fucking 1,000 people in an audience? Yeah. And I bet 200 people bought pay-per-view, pay-per-view for that. They were giving away tickets. But this free. is Austin McBroom, the guy that beat me. Everyone's starting to call me out, and I'm asking for a good amount of money. I'm asking for I, – I didn't even ask for a lot to fight Deji. I asked for a million dollars plus pay-per-view. And they said that that's too much. A lot of money. Yeah, but you know Not you got to know your worth, you know? If I am going in there to get punched in the face – that's my my reputation is on the line. Mm-hmm. Training for three months, like just nothing but training on my mind. I want money. Otherwise, right. I, why, why would I? Why would I get paid to be just punched in the face when I can just cent. when I could just sit on my ass and make more money than that? Aren't training camps like a lot of money too? Like I have to spend a lot yeah. on training camps. To, and then there's you, taxes. So yeah, you, have to, you also you have, have to pay, to pay like half everybody. Aside for so taxes. like yeah, I would get a million dollars and then I would have to pay my trainer a portion. Yeah, I'd have to train like fifteen percent or pay, something. Yeah, it's you like have to pay like a bunch of money. So you're not even walking away with a million. No, no, yeah. And then taxes. Is the Vegas thing going to work out? I'm a dickhead for for asking for too much money, but it was a completely reasonable price. Yeah. And he knows that I will promote it. 
Every single person knows that I will promote it. And I know you got a lot of shit for the last one because you were like, your whole promotion was like, yeah. yeah, I'm not a boxer, but I've been in 40 street fights. And everyone's like, what the fuck's he talking about? <laughs> I think on, me and this funny. guy are like the only guys that heard that. And we're like, yeah, that's not that, there's not even that many, you know? <laughs> 40 street fights. Dude, I, said, I you, know it's a meme, but I literally like used to just be a dickhead. Like I used to just be fighting yeah, in the street. Like yeah. I, that, that's like you, were, you were showing me the, the, some videos of you street fighting. And I was like, there's like a lot. I was no, like, what it, the fuck it was is just this? like, that's where I grew up. I grew up in Maryland where everyone's like mm -hmm. a little cocky, masculine douchebag. Well, I don't get like, the difference here. Cause he also grew up in Maryland. Oh, I'm from he grew Southern up in a, Maryland. Yeah. He grew up in a very different part of Maryland. Okay. Yeah. So there is like a hood part of Maryland. Yeah, like uh, northern, more North of Maryland. I'm like 15 from Baltimore. Okay, and I guess you had like a rougher s uh, school that you went to or something? Or would you say medium. it was after school? It was medium. It's like... You yeah, made it rough. It, no, it was... It was. There were some people that were, uh, quote unquote, about that life. And then there were some people that just weren't. Yeah. It was like a mix between the rednecks and then like everyone else. You were about that life. That's <laughs> no, it. I wasn't. I really wasn't. <laughs> so I was just, I was just like standing it. up for myself. Steven, you're not about that life. No, I'm not. Absolutely not. I'm a pussy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. yeah, it's just interesting though, man, that you guys both come from the same place. I mean, it's definitely different worlds, but like it is the same. I guess, I guess, I guess, nearly the same I guess age. your intent was like, oh, I'm just going to start fucking everybody up. I'll make a name for myself. You're going to respect me. And they're like, oh, yeah, that dude got hands. Yeah. Like, that dude's nasty. I seen him fight. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't fight him. I would give my ass yeah. to you 100%. Like, he, like, you, you, he's a good at, like, he like swing and then, like, good for the oh, knees and slam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you do an MMA? Why don't you start the first? Yeah. I, I would be open to that. That would be something that I'm, I don't think a lot of creators would want to do because of, like, the money. Yeah. There's, there's not going to be as much money oh, yeah. in MMA rather than boxing and a lot of people are scared to get kicked in the face i feel like i'm personally scared to get kicked in the face i don't want to get kicked in the face also those four ounce gloves you got elbows now knees yeah. you know yeah. you're, you're getting hit with every body part but austin took a beating in there oh, like dude. almost to the point where i was worried about his concussions dude, after same. you know same i saw him get knocked down the first time i was like okay that wasn't that bad and then it comes down to like the fifth where he he got hit by that overhand right yeah and he falls just straight on his back and hits his head on the canvas i was like oh my god that had to be the worst beat and taken in oh, youtube yeah. boxing right yeah you know i know i mean who had a good war actually that last war with slim that was pretty bad but Austin with, with uh, temper ryan taylor yeah yeah, yeah, yeah another yeah. guy you had words with too yeah, right yeah yeah yeah. do you yeah. initiate these things are you the one that's no, like he, he's in my dms trying to like fight me and because like, they know it's the payday yeah it's a, it's a payday and i don't i don't fucking know that kid other than him headbutting slim i watch it and i'm like damn i would love to get involved but then also i go to them and i'm like damn this shit's so cringe yeah but also it seems like fun it is definitely fun but it's, it's so it has its cringy moments and you have to be fully prepared for like all the tiktoks and all the the little viral clips of you saying something fucked up and then contradicting yourself <laughs> and then and then it just plays back and you're like ah oh, fuck it i think you've become a lot better at joking on yourself and that's stuff that took a long time for me to kind of figure out your sense of humor comes with time and i feel like you finally tapped into that and that's dangerous now because you're out <laughs> fucking people up now you're you're likable good sense of humor you know this <laughs> i gave you a little heads up on him beforehand what did I tell you? No, you told me everything that you're saying. I kind of looked at his profile. I'm like, damn, this guy's fucking jacked. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> is that doing? what you took from his profile? That's all you took away from him? <laughs> I was like, oh, he's jacked. And then I went to my chiropractor today. He's like, oh, yeah, I like that guy. He's mad funny. Um, oh, he, you showed your chiropractor, Bryce? Yeah, because we were talking about the podcast earlier. He's like, yeah, I like that guy. He uh, had a mushroom experience or something. <laughs> How does like, everybody know about that? I just uh, said it on one podcast. That's all it takes. It just, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Like, a lot of people are, are yeah. liking the new the new content. It's it's uh, It was a complete... 180 you owe it all to mushrooms you're saying you give it i would say like i've been wanting to change my content for a while i'd never genuinely liked doing the content that i was doing on tiktok That's there was never true. one moment where i was posting a tiktok and doing a stupid tiktok dance as a 21 22 year old and going back and being like guys look at this shit this was gas <laughs> There was yeah. never a single moment like that. Are you done dancing? Oh, n never, never. Unless it's like in a joking ass way, I'm never going to like fucking dance again. But do you regret it? Because it's the reason why you're where no, you're today. No, I, I don't regret you it don't at regret all. It, yeah. I mean, it's probably in two years when I've leveled up a few times and then they pull it up in like yeah. the future. Yeah, I'll be like, oh God, I can't believe I was doing that. But it got me to where I am today. So, so but did you start yeah. doing Yeah, like, I wouldn't be so hardy. So I think it came with like the age of like creating TikTok content. TikTok used to yeah. just be dancing. So, yeah, so like, just dancing. Well, so like when you started uh, posting thirst shots, were you in high school when you first started like doing them? Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> they're, they're thirst shots, are they not? <laughs> they Dance, are. Dancing? I don't know. 
Okay, See, posting well, I, those, I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I never seen like the posting old those stuff, types so of videos. I, I don't know if like a third step in dancing is like. I thought that was the same thing. Uh, I I started posting consistently on social media when I was 14, and I started live streaming on you now. Would, would people from school make fun of you? Yeah. Like, would you? Oh hell yeah! That's really? why most of my fights would start. Yeah. Back really? in high school, yeah. Now Bring he's fucking like filthy rich, and they're all at home with their <laughs> fat wives <laughs> and their babies back in Maryland, and he's rich in Hollywood and made bought his mother a house. Yeah, yeah. who can yeah. hate on that? Who can hate on that? I bought my mom a house. You're still paying off your house. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't even have houses. They yeah. probably still live with their parents. I would fucking dance around too to buy my mom a house. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, today's episode is sponsored by Raycon. Have you started shopping for the holidays yet? No? Literally, why not? You know most gifts don't go bad, right? The only thing that'll go bad between now and December are the crowds at the mall. 12 children screaming, 11 minutes to find parking, 10 Karens Karening, the list goes on. Right now you can shop early, skip the stress, and snag some of the best deals of the season on something everyone will love. Premium audio products from Raycon. Their wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, and almost custom comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. And as the person gifting them, you've gotta love that they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus, Raycon makes it easy with holiday gift guides for everyone in your life. Your mom, your dad, your coworkers, or your editors. Or knock that list out all at once and get 30% off by shopping Raycon's Holiday Bundles. My personal favorite is the All-Star Bundle. I love taking them to the gym or out on my runs. They are perfect for fitness activities. Everyone needs a pair of Raycons in their ears, whether it's for listening to music, taking work calls, or blasting a workout playlist. You can find Raycons in stores now, like Kohl's or Walmart. But let me tell you right now, you're always going to get the best deal when you use my special link, buyraycon.com slash jefffm. The Raycon website also offers buy now, pay later options. Right now, go to buyraycon.com slash jefffm and use code earlybf, that's E-A-R-L-Y-B-F, to get 20% off site-wide. That's 20% off any Raycon product, which almost never happens. Or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. That's code earlybf at buyraycon.com slash jefffm for 20% off your Raycon purchase. Buyraycon.com slash jefffm. All right, now back on with the episode. Did you, you start this thing? I, I thought you were an athlete. We can oh, cut the, it out. The, 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 oh no, I don't really care. It's, it's like a really, it's a really good like. Oh, hate it. God, I feel good. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a gateway. Yeah. I know. I, I, it's yeah. the only thing I really. How many do. times a week you take mushrooms? I take. I'm on mushrooms right now. Oh, I feel oh yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Just a tiny little chocolate. Yeah, I, I microdose nice. like almost every other day. So it's part day. of your, like your daily routine. Yeah, it's like. Smoking weed. Like, you mushrooms. know how they have those cases, like, Sunday through Monday? Like, you have, they put the vitamins in. You have, a like, a little dab of mushrooms in it every yeah. day. Like, you just wake up and... What is that? What is that sound? Mushrooms. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> what sound? It's like some psychedelic. That, as soon as I say um, mushrooms, I hear that. I'm like, oh, my God. Am I tripping right now? Yeah. <laughs> right, so you have no idea what you're talking about right, right now. Yeah. Wait, it's, wait, wait, it's hold like on. So why did I have to get a 20-minute lecture about drugs? When I brought it up, but because you don't coke, and you're admiring it. First well, of all, there's, fuck? there's coke, different levels. There's different. First of all, cocaine <laughs> is way <laughs> more sucking. serious and way more addictive. <laughs> mushroom is actually just a fungus. You, you're, you're going to be freebasing crack if you keep it yeah, up. Yeah, mushrooms grow out of the earth. You're buying shit off coke dealers in fucking alleyways and no, nightclub I'm not. bathrooms. I've never bought coke. You, you don't know what's cut a into huge it. There's problem fentanyl with it right and shit. Yeah, there's just getting like all coke with fentanyl. I know. Like, getting all yeah. coked out, whipping out your balls and oh shit. Oh my god, I fucking oh, love look that who it guy. is. Look Aldo. Who it is. Oh my god. Aldo. That's oh fucking god. Aldo. Everybody's coming for Steven's spot today. <laughs> you you copy all this guy's content. Yeah, right. You got That's enable, so funny. I'm that. your daddy, Aldo. Know that. I'm your daddy. I've been doing this shit first, baby. Let him get his mic on before you start drilling him like that. I'm going to fucking lose the argument because I don't. He's probably. Better at arguing than me. So I'm going to say it all now before so he, because he can't talk. Ha, ah, loser, he can't talk. Steven, what happens if he comes here and fucks you up? No, he's not going to do nothing. He's just what in is the he going to do? He's in Canada. <laughs> he's in Canada. I'll that's buy, why, I'll that's buy why, him a that's plane ticket a right guy. now. We don't have to do that. Get this guy a plane ticket. Get that this could guy be an here. interesting boxing match, actually. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Aldo, <laughs> good to have you here. What's up, Jeffrey? What's going on? The homie told me that I was supposed to be on here with Lil Huddy. We got Bryce Hall up in this bitch. I never <laughs> said that we were having Lil Huddy on. I mean, well, someone, someone told me. I guess it's chill though because Bryce Hall's like. 
kind of the same person as Charlie D'Amelio if he was like a hot ass babe. I see that. I could see that. They're all kind of in the same genre. I don't, so, I don't really see that. You could be related, maybe. Look, yeah, Mark, Bryce, come on, relate. Mark has Not good genetics, Bryce, man. I mean, just, I, I don't see any resemblance, but yeah, continue. Mark D'Amelio just pumping out superstars, you know? <laughs> I hear Steven throwing shots. Yeah, because I'm getting a bunch of comments saying I'm copying you. Which is fair. So it's not fair. I do see that a bottle you of pills. Are you just chewing down a bottle really? of pills? I can see like it's same type of vibe. Binky. Same type of vibe that you guys are putting out there. So let's check the dates here. Well, I got Steven gets a hundred <laughs> likes in fucking eighteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he deleted uh, the video. Steven deleted the video. Oh, uh, you took your video down. Wait, no, it's, it's still up. It's still up. No, Steven, I saw it. Wait, which deleted one? It. I, I don't know. The one of you in the fucking mirror. Oh yeah, I did horrible. I flopped so bad. So you got a, fell off. You got a hundred likes. But look, he's gonna have his wave. I have my wave, and then he's having his. Oh, 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 oh. And Aldo, then he's gonna fucking give it. This whatever. social media Steven, cloud do does. does Steven, you literally do coke. Aldo, could you pass a drug <laughs> test right now? Yeah. Fly him out. He's that got would clean be piss. Such Let's a good do video. It. Let's Boxing. do it. Well, I mean, they, I don't think they're really game to fight. I think they just want to talk shit until they're in person, and then it all stops. I think, like, even the build of guys, come on. Yo, I'll, I'll punch Steven all those nuts neck. in your mouth, bro. Fuck you. you. Steven, these nuts in your fucking face. <laughs> I'm your daddy. Remember that. <laughs> Whatever, okay. dude. All right, take it easy. How is the high life being on top? With your uh, new comedic style taking over TikTok. I wouldn't even say it's taking over. I'd say it fucking, it's just killing Steven. <laughs> <laughs> I like the videos where, where you sniff you sniff shit. Oh, I'm sure you do, mm -hmm. Bryce. Well, he sniffs you his do. own fart. I thought it was, I thought it was other I thought people's it was balls. Shit. I like those videos. Is that a ball sniff? What about the fucking awkward shit that I do, dude? What about that? I actually see your, your videos on my For You page all the time. You're fucking hilarious. The first one I Thank saw you, was actually the one where you you referenced Noah and I. If Noah and Bryce <laughs> ask you to bang, you're saying no? Like, really? No, I'm saying yes. Okay, cool. And, like, so many fucking people agreed with me. I saw I saw a lot of the comments, yeah. They're like, they would, I would fuck Noah Beck and Bryce Hall if they were there. Okay. Hey, Hell yeah. Well, Aldo, I'm a big fan nice. of your stuff. I, I love what you're doing. Keep it up. Keep killing it. Yeah, dude, keep uh, killing stay it. Stay on Steven. Say no to drugs. I don't fucking do drugs. I don't copy Steven like he copies me. <laughs> oh. Well, just keep it up. Look at him. Make sure, you know, try uh, not to try not to get an ego. So and ugly you are, Steven. <laughs> you're more ugly. Sorry, Jeff. And, uh, I'm just, sorry, Jeff. I, I, you're, I, just, I you're ugly you. and dumb. That's who you are. We're going to have to wrap this call up. I'm about to ask Bryce about his dating life. Everybody wants to know what uh, chicks he's got. Seriously, I don't fuck you, Steven. You fucking <laughs> asshole. Get me on this podcast. Fucking in <laughs> Did he hang up or was that us? No, he hung up. All right, Bryce. What's going on? What girls have you dated that I, that I've been talking to as well? <laughs> oh, dude, uh, you have you have the podcast with Tana. Yeah. Did you guys have a thing? No, never a thing. It was never a thing. Was it a thing for like a like a clout ship? No, it was a, it was a drunk hookup. Oh, so you went all all yeah. out. Oh wow! Sponsored okay. Sponsored by Dizzy. Uh, sponsored by Dizzy. <laughs> That's wow! Interesting, man. This is this is big because yeah. well, it was it was like in 2018, 2017. Okay. Do you have like memory that. of it? Uh, I remember her trying to put a finger in my butt. Really? Ooh, yeah. Walk us through what? everything. Can you tell us about how <laughs> that night went? Okay, so I remember I saw her at Bella Thorne's party. Mm -hmm. This is when like Tana's like on the come up. I'm still, you know, just. A uh, micro influencer, yeah, like kind of like Steven Street Fighter. And, uh, I was just saying, I was just saying, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, oh shit, that's Tana. I gotta, I gotta spit some game, and I, it worked. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it, it was, it was just so stupid. She brought me up to the room, and uh, post you on her Instagram story. Post, yeah, post me everywhere. She's like, hey, I'm fucking Bryce Hall. What uh, is this world? Oh my god, really? I really don't care. <laughs> she was, she was posting it, and then um. Yeah, one thing led to another, and then she took off one of my socks, started sucking one of my toes. Wow. No so way this is real. No. I'm, to I'm totally serious, and Tana, I apologize for airing this out, but this is a fucking funny story. It was the first weird encounter sex. <laughs> this is me, like, fresh out of Maryland, never had some yeah. weird oh sex. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> and she starts sucking my toe. And I was like, "What the? What kind of what kind of shit? What kind of shit is this?" So that's then, how she initiated it. She went right, took the she, sock off, and then she tried to like sit right here to like, I guess, like you know, do her thing, and then starts. That's <laughs> so hot. I just feel so weird saying it. <laughs> started sucking my dick, and then tried to put a finger in my butt. Wow. Yeah, that's Damn, hot. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't let it happen though. Why? 
I don't know. That was like my <laughs> first experience. time. That was my first time. Yeah. What, you know about it? You have you ever got fingers in your butt? No. <laughs> no. You got you, I'm just saying, like, you miss a. I'm not assuming not it would be a great opportunity, and you missed that. Well, I was. I, I didn't let it happen, and then I woke up the next morning, and I was like, "What the fuck just happened last night?" And I Ubered before she woke up. Did you use a condom? No. You live and you learn, you know. I'm, I'm glad you guys are both clean. And this is this is back when I literally just I wear condoms now every single time I have sex. Whatever, I look, I'm not judging you. I can't have a baby. I, my job is to ask questions. I can't. Well, you know? I can't it's have different a baby. now. You got a bank account now. Yeah, no, I can't have a baby. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing true. condoms. Before, you condoms needed, every time. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I support that. Okay, is it cool if we hit a weather segment real quick? Yeah. We just get the weather from a local city and <laughs> we'll put it out do that? the next day so they can see what the weather was the previous. Whatever. It's not important. <laughs> hey, Bryce. What's up? You're my biggest inspiration. I've been trying to look more like buff and cool. Okay, be um, nice. Be nice. Don't come in here I mocking am. my guest because you're through a screen. I'm not mocking him. And if he decides to get up and fucking attack somebody, <laughs> it's, it's someone. Jeff. In the Let me talk. Do your thing. You have one minute. You have one minute. I just want to play like a fun game if you guys are down. Um, uh, can Cue the music. I haven't approved any games. I haven't okayed any games. How's this you need weather? to run shit by me if you All want right. to do, do we're segments. We're going to play a game called Which TikToker Did It? We've got Steven or Bryce. All right, let's... This TikToker dated Addison Ray. Steven. Bryce. Bryce! Oh, shit. Which TikToker started an OnlyFans? Did you? I didn't start an OnlyFans. Oh, he did. <laughs> did you start an OnlyFans? Yeah, he showed his dick Steven. on OnlyFans. Yeah, oh my god. god. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I forgot about that. We passed. But no, we were trying to we were trying to raise money. T times are tough and we thought, you know, you've been <laughs> well, doing this ago, thing for so off. much. And <laughs> you, know, you, know, bucks. You, showed your, you showed your dick on, on only for fifty no, bucks. I didn't. No, we made like one fifty, you made like two hundred. But we I, I was getting a lot of subscribers on Patreon and we were like trying to figure out how he could do something like that, but he doesn't have the work ethic to put only out videos. Fans, and, and, subscribe to it though, Bryce. Okay, I'll make one in the future. <laughs> Which TikToker had a huge party in LA during a global pandemic? <laughs> that was nice. We gave you a lot of crap for yeah, that no, on the yeah, barbershop. That, that, was, that was me. It was Brian. <laughs> a sound guy. I told you to fucking get correct and wrong like sounds for when it is. <laughs> like it's supposed to be like a like a ding ding. Like a game show. Which TikToker <laughs> has been arrested? Oh, Bryce. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Bryce has been arrested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the club, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Multiple times. Which TikToker almost had Tana's fingers in their butthole? <laughs> how do you Steven? How do you know <laughs> this? I just <laughs> found this out. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce is this a known horrible. thing? Damn, it's I like, thought I got like a great piece of like <laughs> dirt. No, you got you got the toe sucking one. I've never said that one. Okay. Yeah. Who How she had initiated. sex with Tana Mojo Raw? <laughs> <laughs> Steven. How did you know that? Bryce, Bryce did. Was he uh, listening in to that whole first half? <laughs> um, so in Bakersfield, it's been raining. <laughs> and down in Los Angeles, it's been raining. And I don't know if you guys got the emergency report, but we had flooding today. And after today, that it's going to be clear skies, seven-day forecast. Oh. <laughs> and that's the air for LA. Yeah, it's raining out there. It's nuts. Bryce, can I join this Ray house, please? <laughs> look, I can, look, I can just... <laughs> is he done? Is he gone? Yeah. <laughs> that's good. We haven't done the weather segment in a while, and I don't miss it. Let's just say that, you know? Can we talk about the Logan stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your guys' relationship well, like right now? Nice. Have, have you talked at all? Every time we see each other, it's it's very cordial. We're, <laughs> we're almost like nothing happens online. And it's usually only one-sided. He always talks shit, shit about me, and I kind of just never say anything. The first time that I ever said something negative was that... Just real quick. Yo. <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Yeah, I don't give pretty... a fuck about this. Get him off, Steven. It's a really good talk we're having right now. We finally get into the Logan sorry, stuff. That was good. The clickbait of the episode. Sorry. And you want to bring up this asshole. So, so Logan, are you going to fight him? Are, you know, now no. would be a good time. You could take out the knee. I never said anything negative about him. If anything, I looked up to him as a content creator. Mm -hmm. um, true inspiration. But first time I said something about him was when I keep seeing these viral clips where he just you can tell he's intentionally saying something to go viral like mm -hmm. 
cheating is wrong. You should, it's so hard to cheat. You have to go out of your way to do it. Just to like kind of get the general public to be like, oh my God, that's so true. And cheating is bad. <laughs> Wait. Well, so, I, I so that's the first time I said something where I was just like, oh my God, he's so fake woke. I literally said it on a podcast where we were watching a clip because you went viral for saying the, the um, cheating is wrong thing. So I was just like, yeah, dude, of course cheating's wrong. Thanks for saying it so you can get clipped on TikTok and go viral. It's don't fake woke Don't stuff. score it like a horror movie. You know, is, are we trying to have them kill each other? <laughs> I, I'm trying to maybe see if I could, you the, the, know, mediate mediator. this yeah, yeah, yeah. and squash it. Because no, I've not, even I'm, had I'm, a beef with Logan in the past, like way, way back when I was like, part of the squad and all that shit like I, I had words with him we kind of talked shit about each other online like just joking around and then we realized like you know we are kind of similar and we just communicated and we we're like oh this shit is is dumb you know yeah and no, maybe that's your situation i know i think i i definitely wouldn't say i have beef with him i literally only would say good things about him he's a very good content creator he's well spoken and he's mm -hmm. killing it. He's in the fucking WWE. What other YouTubers doing that shit? It's true. Yeah. It's not the best at boxing, but neither am I. <laughs> so we're killing it in fucking different lanes. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say that I have beef with him. I actually don't want any beef with him. I responded to something that he said about me. Yeah, I remember when you came on the barbershop, I was asking you who you watch. And you were like, I watch Logan and you. And I was like, damn, and we're over here all like talking shit, trying oh, yeah, to make no, funny because like, you like, do dances <laughs> on TikTok. But look at how things have changed, you know? Yeah. One day you're going to be our age and you're going to be looking back at your old self and you'll be making fun of that version oh, of yeah. yourself. That's what I do all the time. Luckily, I don't have my whole life filmed when I was 21, you yeah. know? Yeah. I was in jail. I've been in front of the camera since I was 14. Yeah. So, so all my fuck-ups. I've been in just... front of the judge since I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See? It was like going to the principal's office. What do you want to be doing, say, 10 years down the line? I don't know exactly what lane I want. That's why I uh, I dip my toes in every single lane of entertainment, just trying to find like what I enjoy. And so far, acting's been the most fun. Um, boxing is fun, but that's draining. That's mm -hmm. that's terrible just getting your body like that. But yeah. I'm doing every single thing of entertainment until I find the thing that I like. I see myself doing something in front of the camera. Well, yeah, that's that's obvious. You're definitely an entertainer. But finding that lane, like boxing, you put so much work in, but it's YouTube boxing. So yeah. where do you draw the line? Where do you where do you go from where do you expand from YouTube boxing? Yeah, because if you one. just get so good at it, you're a professional boxer yeah. now and just fight real <laughs> fighters. Well, where do you you don't need to go anywhere once you do a certain like look at Jake. Like he could like I mean, Jake, He's it's tough for... I don't know what Jake's going to do. It's after. tough for Jake to find to... opponents now because, look, he just beat it's one of the best <laughs> strikers of all time. You know, yeah, he's a little old, but I was there at the fight. It was a war, and the kid is on a level fighter. now of a pro boxer. Yeah. He's too good to fight any other YouTube boxers. Nobody's 100%. taking the fight with him. Nobody that is worth, like, our attention and, like, yeah. the whole internet, like how you were able to hype that fight up and there was real YouTube drama involved. Yeah. There's not going to be somebody on his level. Maybe KSI if he... KSI is uh, the only one. But I don't know one. how he would catch up even. Oh. KSI, KSI, would, KSI would get his ass kicked. Let's be yeah, completely real. Yeah, but it's real. just like hype-wise. Like, hype-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the only one that makes sense. Yeah. 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 And it's a true legacy thing where it's like, oh, he beat my brother. Yeah. I have to beat him. And right now oh, he would. Yeah. And that's why KSI would not fight him. I think KSI is extremely athletic. He's got heart. I was, you know, I mean, he beat Logan, and I thought Logan was way bigger, and he was going to smoke him, but... He barely you know, beat Logan. I, I know, but you got to give him props. He got in there. He's one of the first ones to do it. I can't, come, you know, I can't hate on him. Jake yeah. just put his whole life into it, you know, yeah. but who's next for him? What do you do with it now? How did the Anderson Silva pay-per-view do? I don't know, but I heard it, it didn't do as good as they expected. His, his Tyron Woodley one, the second fight, only got 60,000 pay-per-views. I think he had 200K out of the Silva fight. That yeah. doesn't seem like a sustainable... Yeah, but he loves what he's doing. And, you know, like you said, you love acting. You know, if you had a great time on set and you could work towards that and just go fully in, you know, put your whole life into something, that's when you become great at something, you know? It's weird that we just do so many different things. And so many. <laughs> like, Every creator does. Like, yeah. You have a, a drink, too. You have a, I have, a I, beverage I'm out, right? I'm coming out with, a, with my own seltzer. Oh, yeah? It's called Blackout. Damn. Yeah, we trademarked Blackout. I don't drink, but is that a good name? I mean, it gets I your mean, attention. It has more alcohol percentage than White Claw and Trulies and Happy Dads. Oh, it tastes better than them. It has electrolytes in it, and it's only it's less than 100 calories per can. So I can't see in a world where there's a, yeah. comp a competition. It's like it's it's... I'm not saying that drinking is healthy, but this is the healthiest well, form you got to get the most fucked up drink. and t 
to stay the most in shape because it has the least amount of calories. Damn, Bryce, I got to say, you know, a lot of people were giving you shit, but look at what you built for yourself, you know? I really respect it. It's solid. Dude, appreciate that. I hope you get a chance to fucking wrestle Taylor Holder <laughs> or, uh, you know, date another famous girl out there because that's always <laughs> nice for you know, a boost in the career, yeah. but you don't even need it. Now, maybe you just date, like, somebody that you genuinely love. Oh, like, oh yeah, dude, that would be nice. I mean, I, I genuinely liked my last relationship. Now, was it tough seeing her go off to just becoming the most famous girl on the planet, like a super, superstar? No. It was always like, hey, dude, you're fucking killing it. Good, good job. That's good that you have yeah. that in you, because, you know, some people just genuinely have, like, Hatred for their ex. Yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, no, there's no hatred over here. When I broke up with my ex... She was on a show that had just started and they put billboards all over town. And there was a billboard right outside my house. So every day I would leave my house, I would have to drive past my ex on a fucking giant billboard. And that would bug me a little bit. But I made jokes about it. We like used it for content and stuff. Yeah, no, the, the jokes, though, doesn't resonate with a lot of people. They think that you're you're obsessed with it. And I feel like we should normalize yeah. being able to joke about your own life experiences on your platforms. Yeah, you're right. That is so a good why, point. Why do people care what I say about my life? If I'm talking about somebody else, mm -hmm. um, if I'm talking about somebody else that was involved in my life and I want to make jokes about it, if I want to cope with it that way, like why can't people just be like, okay, if I don't like it, there's actually a feature where you can block me. It is a, a coping method. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll, I'll use all of my, you know, most embarrassing vids on the internet, ones that involve uh, heavy machinery. And I'll yeah, joke see? about them. It's, I it's bring a, them up, a, but it's, it's a coping mechanism, and it's a, it's a good topic to joke mm -hmm. about in your life. Yeah, it's a part of me. I yeah. wear it on my face. You know, if I Google Bryce Hall, I'm gonna see Addison Race somewhere in that top in mm -hmm. that page, the front page, guaranteed to be on it. Yeah. You know, it's a part of us. We can't run from it. How do you feel about your dad? <laughs> oh my god, I thought you said. <laughs> yeah, does it, I thought you said, how do you feel about your dad? I was like, dude, I wow, oh my god. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a fucking dad, man. Say no. <laughs> Damn, no, Oscar. No, uh, what is this, the barbershop? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this, therapy? <laughs> How do you feel about no, your dad? Uh, her dad? He's doing this thing. It's, it's pretty funny to watch. Like, a lot of people are hating it. It's pretty mm -hmm. funny to watch. Like, yeah. He's just saying whatever the fuck he wants. Just oh. going absolutely oh crazy. God. I can tell you something. Oh, my God. I don't know if I should even say it. Well, it doesn't matter. The weatherman, me and him, right up... Uh, Oh, I saw you that night. The part, new vacancy at this party at that party. The fanfics. Oh yeah. He was talking to somebody, and and I could, I heard, ever heard him saying that he was. He said that uh, fuck, I didn't dress up as anything because it was like a Halloween uh, mm -hmm. a Halloween party or yeah. a costume party, and he was like, I didn't dress up as anybody. You know, I you know he uh, he said uh, I could just tell them that I'm dressed up as Addison Ray's dad, and then he said something about uh, how he's like. He's fuck, fuck! I fucked up the story, dude. He said something about you. He brought up your name. I was like, oh my god. He's like, he's gonna dress up. Yeah, oh, he's dressed up as Bryce Hall. He's like, I'm dressed up as Bryce Hall. That's what I'm gonna tell him. I'm like, dude, that is the weirdest thing. To oh possibly yeah, say. Well, that is I, I mean, this story was all over the place. I can't even make anything out of what he said. But I did see some comparisons. <laughs> I of, picked that up. I did see a comparison because he did with his uh, girlfriend or somebody that he's dating. Or, which oh, they is, dressed up exactly like me and Addison. Uh, yeah, yeah, which was a bit that weird. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's that a lot of weird. just weird things that's going on. But now, no, I'm not defending him whatsoever. I understand when a when a guy loses his entire family for whatever actions it might have been his fault. I don't know, but I, I understand how that could fuck you up a lot. But uh, no, everything he's doing is weird. I don't I don't get it. You know. So if he did do something fucked up and he lost his family, he's probably in panic mode. He doesn't have money for himself. He was reliant solely on Addison Ray's success. Your whole world gets flipped Your upside whole, down. You, you literally go from having that type of bank account to nothing. So it's like he's thinking of crazy ways of, on how he can make money now. So yeah. like OnlyFans, he's doing all Some this crazy fans? stuff. Oh, he started OnlyFans, oh, huh? Yeah. Weird thing, man. Very weird. Yeah. You keep in touch with Addison at all? No, no. You think you could beat her new boyfriend in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, he's he's a fucking producer for the Kid Leroy. So that's a yeah. 
Yeah. Just kidding. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We got uh, the clip for TikTok. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's killing it in his own lane, dude. He's like, no, a, I'm, I'm just messing around. Yeah. Radisson's always been sweet to me, and, yeah. and the kid has cool red hair. I don't know anything about him, but I you don't know, know anything about him either, other yeah. than he's like very successful in his line of work. Cody, you got anything you want to add? You got good wisdom. You've been through a lot of shit in your life. What, what, what do you think of this guy, Bryce? This he's guy, solid, right? He's solid. He's got his life together. He's got a good head on his shoulder for his age. It's pretty impressive. Uh, what about me? I think Steven should probably try to like get a little bit more influence <laughs> by him. Now we started this episode off with like a whole intervention yeah. on like how you got to stop hanging with Bryce and <laughs> doing these things that he's getting you involved in. Like, and what? it turns out that you've only hung out two, three times and you don't even know he was there most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you were the reason for his downfall, but he's it's really out, just... He's hanging out with my videographer a lot. Jared, yeah, what a legend. Is, he just seems like a good Jared, guy, Jared's right? awesome. Absolute Jared's legend, awesome. yeah. Great, great he guy. He started editing for, for Mike. Mike. Yeah, yeah, no, he's editing for yeah, Mike. At the end of the day, we, we, yeah, can't, we can't blame people for our actions. Nobody's forcing Steven to do drugs. But keep the music I on for that. I don't do drugs. Yeah, no, you know, the, the motivational one. He deliberately it, takes yeah, a straw and sniffs blow up his nose. Nobody's saying, true. go do this. I think he was doing it off of keys. When did you start doing that? Nice, we got Bryce involved in the intervention now. It's good. Like two months ago? Steven, it starts yeah. today. It's That's bad. it. You get sober today. It's just the LA scene. It's, it's your bad. life. I don't care, Steven. So you're, so you're done? Listen to what he's I'm about not, to I'm say. I'm absolutely done. I haven't done it. In Did you hear while, Logan Paul? Listen to what we're about to say. Yeah. Stop doing drugs 2022. 2023. You can keep going for another, another month. month but, yeah. but stop after that. You're going to give him another month to burn out? Yeah. Watch he gets a dose of fentanyl I mean, in that time. Probably, yeah, he's probably... Oh, yeah, that's true. True, <laughs> true maybe, maybe actually stop now. stop now. Stop now, stop now. The blood's on your hands, Bryce. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop hands. now. Drugs. Stop drugs. We brought you in here today to, you know, get our boy back. Yeah. Mom, Dad, I really don't do drugs. They both watch this and they're going to think I'm a loser. I don't do I drugs. Steven, you are all a bit. That. This is all can't a bit. Believe. This is a joke. Well, I can't believe you do it drugs. It had to happen. You know, maybe your parents will get involved too. And oh my Honestly, God. it's impressive. This guy's 23. He's got a good head on his shoulder. He's bought his mom's a house. He's got a good career. He's going to he's gonna go really far in life. Me, yeah. I wish I woke up sooner, but i done <laughs> drugs and I made my life a lot harder than it had to be, Steven. And that's the road you're going. Well, it's never now. too late. You're you're you know, like path. like yeah. Gary Vee says. Were you? Wait, hold on. Are you, you going to interrupt? You like, I was just going to say what Gary Vee says. If you're like, if you're in 40s, my life, if you could be Gary 70, v. you're still young. In you my got 30 years ahead. Yeah, of you. Yeah. yeah. I had to grow up. I had to sell stuff to survive. I wish I could street fight and dance. You know. But what, what, yeah. what, 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 y'all always yeah. you're like degrading me, right? But what were y'all doing at 22? Oh, you don't want to even know. Exactly. So what am? How am I doing? I was starting. I was starting and dancing. I just wasn't getting paid for it. I was doing blow and I was fucking everything raw. And you're starting this path. Yeah. 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 So you got to stop. You got to stop now. I did. I stopped a month ago. Before it's too late. It was two months ago. Bro, when I was 21, I was. I literally got my this shot right here. That's it. <laughs> Four months yeah, in Dade was, County. Mine yeah. was 20. That guy. I was 20 that and I had my first mugshot. Yeah. yeah. So right around the same time, I was in Miami. I was dancing and live. And I was street fighting, getting into trouble. I was fighting in jail. I was fighting all over the place. So how am I? Because you, you're not even dancing and street fighting. You're just doing coke. No, That's not. it. And yeah, waking up late and texting me stuff. <laughs> so... I'm happy that it's done. I'm happy it's over. You know, we don't want to end up... At, look at that. You know who else just got arrested? Breaking news. Uh, Nikita. Nikita Dragon. She got arrested. At, can you pull that up? Yeah. Dude, uh, yeah, but it was a battery battery and an officer. You punched a cop. No, 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 no. Oh. This is not me. I, what I, was I, your... Weed. In, in Florida? Weed in Texas. They wiped that off your record now, right? Yeah. That's great. It, it, was, a, it was a misdemeanor. Sex crime. Who's this? Naked at the pool. Nikita, you took a picture with her in the lobby. Yeah, because yeah. you used to be a bit of a clout chaser. You saw that she had yeah, followers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you didn't even know anything about her or what no, she no, did. No, see, look, charge of battery on a police officer. Nikita Dragon left a swanky Miami Beach hotel in handcuffs after cops say she was walking around the pool in the nude before, what does that say, dousing off before dousing officers and security guards with water. Damn, so she just <sighs> so threw apparently, water. So apparently the battery was just the water. Um, yeah. Dang, that's just so stupid. The Ugh. transgender influencer was arrested Monday night on a felony charge of battery on a police officer. Okay, so that's the battery was just the water. And yeah. it sounds like she was having too good of a time at the Good Time Hotel. Oh, the Good Time Hotel. That's Pharrell's hotel. It's a good spot. David that's crazy. That's crazy. That's yeah, a they, nice little they, thing. They really just... They just put those two together. TMZ is ruthless. A yeah. bunch of scumbags over there. Just having too good of a time at the Good Time Hotel. What jail would she be put in? <laughs> Uh, if she, well, she got locked up in Dade County. So Dade no, County. it's transgender 
Are oh, you... she would be put in like a special unit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like the gay unit, like trans. That's not mixed in with general population? No, they get killed. Is it uncomfortable sitting so close to him and I brought you in here and you had to sit next to this guy the no. whole time? I, I think we met. Didn't we meet? No, know, it was another, sure. another goon. One, another. Yeah, yes. No, I've seen him in your videos. You picked him up from jail, right? But you don't yeah, feel like right, any yeah. slight intimidation when you're... He's I think of everybody. I think of everybody. I think of everybody. I think of everybody as equals. Yo, right? Steven, speak for yourself. He's I'm, one yeah. of us. Look at his picture. <laughs> don't let know. this fucking dancing street fighter fool you. He's got the oranges on. Uh, yeah, yeah. That He's means he spent a couple nights. Yeah. Huh? So it's a pretty fire mugshot too. Yeah, yeah, kind of like yours, mug, yeah. your mugshot. Like, yeah. You should be on a t-shirt. Make mugs out of it. Profit off of it. I guess my last question is, what's your biggest regret in your career? I think my biggest regret would be just that time you said I'm not a fighter. I, I, I wouldn't even say that's a regret. I feel like that was bigger than my actual fight. If anything, it, it made my name get out there more. I mean, that's some great shit. Only, that's I think a the good... only fucked up thing that I would say I regret is throwing a party during the pandemic. It's not beating the shit out of all those innocent kids. Those forty kids. Uh, but that was always <laughs> that was always mutual. Yeah, no, I'm just messing around. Uh, I don't think I regret regret anything. Yeah, I learned everything from my mistakes. And I've turned into the person I am today. That's a good lesson to, you know, teach all the listeners. I feel like people yeah. people look at fuck ups too too heavy. It's like those are what shape you into the people you become. There's two people hanging from a cliff, and they're about to fall to their death. It's Jeff and David. Who are you saving? Are you listening? He was saying some nice, <laughs> profound stuff, and you bring up this bullshit about this fuck. Sorry. Fucking Answer the question, though. I'm yeah. actually curious. Yeah, I'm not going to save him. Don't don't. I don't even. I don't follow no, David don't on anything. Don't, he, if you, we're not the, we're not friends. You know. <laughs> yeah. We're we're like acquaintances. We know of each other. I mean, that's him and everybody. He just tries to buy friends. That's why he sent you that champagne bottle. Oh. It he, is he, what he it is. He send me that. But back to what you were saying. So all of your fuck ups, you learned from your mistakes, and it made you a better man. Yeah. That's good. That's a really good thing to put out there, Bryce. It takes a lot to say that, you know. We're a great example of that too. Yeah, I think you know? it's valid. We've made so many mistakes in life, still making them yeah, today. Yeah, it's all a learning process, you know. People that say they don't fuck up and don't make mistakes are just lying, mm -hmm. and they're trying to fabricate and put this mask on and and live up for other people's approval. Let's say we're back. We have a time machine. We go back to that moment after the Austin McBroom fight. We're in the ring. They bring you over. They're like, "All right, Bryce, let's do your interview now." <laughs> What are you saying? I would have just changed to one word. Which one? I never claimed to be a fighter. Fighter is the word I would have changed to boxer. That's good, but now I don't even want to change that because look at the man you've become today and all these things are the reason for that, you know? Mm -hmm. So fuck that. Don't I think, even change I think it. seeing the memes over and over again was like honestly the fucking memes were hilarious they were they were really funny people still do them to this day and it's kind of like okay like how old is your humor it's but it. it's it's it, it's uh, a, an experience that i went through and it was a humbling experience got punched in the face a lot by a guy that was 10 years older than me i lost the fight true. i talked a lot of shit now we move forward we both and got money if, out of if, it if you're able to, able to wrestle him while is there like a uh, see a that's sport? where i was gonna go and we're thinking like yeah. i would have gone back before because we have a time machine so we're going back even before the, like the negotiation the for the ba wrestling? i'm talking back in the fucking locker room when and they're wrapping this. your hands i would have put a roll of quarters in there and fucking he really was playing a lot of mind games with me to get in my head remember fight day you're supposed to be super calm nothing on your mind other than the fight you guys now yeah. i'll let you talk but you you guys were eating chips like uh, like before the weigh-ins and shit and you guys did no, not I didn't yeah, a Taylor Holder. I saw eating a bag of Doritos. Oh, yeah, because he was he was trying to gain weight. For okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, he was playing a lot of mind games with me. We were in the the day of the fight. We're sitting there in the in the locker room. They're telling us we have to wear headgear. You're not you're not gonna fight any. That's why the first few fights were in headgear. Oh. You're not supposed to. This whole build up of the fight, we were promoting it. 14 ounce gloves, no headgear. It's gonna be the craziest thing. Like first time influencers, like first time fighting. No one has to wear headgear. They tell us we have to. We're all freaking out. I'm getting mad. I'm like, I'm not going to step out there if I have to wear headgear. Then they change it that day to 16 ounces. So then I'm like, what the fuck is happening with this event? I'm starting to freak out even more. I'm yelling at the administration. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to like meet up with Austin like, yo, like fix this shit or I'm going to fight you right now. Like It's like a lot of heated tension. And then when we go in there, he had the ref yell at me for stupid things, like getting in my head and then... His brother was was chanting something at me while we're in the ring, and it's making me like kind of 
like yeah, lose saw, focus of this. It, there was a lot of mind games that he was doing. The ref he, he was fucking like, didn't well. shut the fuck up. It was yeah. like, yeah, it, I saw it, that he was. Footage. Yeah, yeah. The, ref, the ref was pushing me, telling me to He's shut like the fuck you. up. But at the end of the day, you did have fun and you will do it again. Oh yeah, it's just not on another influencer's event. Like especially if it's like somebody's event like that. And I, that's why I respect Gib. Like he went on Austin McRoon's event knowing that Austin would corrupt. Yeah. Like the same exact thing that he did to me. And he still just went in there and just dropped him five times. Yeah, and he he did get dropped and like, came back. From yeah, it. he dro- he got dropped the first round, got up and dropped him five times. Like it, it's a respect thing. Like I was like, Gib can fucking yeah. Gib, I knew Gib, he was under. I knew Austin was underestimating him too because you could see even in like the press conference and he, he, the the way they're putting on the event and he's just so cocky and arrogant. Yeah, yeah Gib he puts in the work. You know, he he his conditioning was insane i raced him in logan's race where we did the mile and he was right on my tail the whole time and i'm a runner you know so i knew that he had it in him I'm yeah like, don't underestimate this kid you know the shit that happened with jake that's not him anymore you know and he 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 was even a different fighter from taylor i think he thought he was gonna fight exactly how he fought taylor he wasn't throwing bombs like that yeah with taylor satisfying to watch though it was it was yeah. very satisfying you guys should fight on the same card it was so entertaining. Yeah. Well, maybe one if, day. If maybe you, one if, day. The only one that I was kind of interested in was this one that was coming up in January, and we were actually in the talks, and that's where KSI was doing all the talking, like saying I was asking for too much money. Yeah. But it, it was like the Logan was fighting on it before he tore his whatever, and uh, KSI was also fighting You should on call it. him out now because he tore his leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, I bet you if you say no, you're a pussy. Yeah. If you yeah. say no, you're a pussy. Let's fight yeah. on January. Let's fight in January. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's your response to... Uh, Deji's uh, call out to you after his fight. Oh, dude, that was fucking so random. Yeah. I had a feeling that he was going to call me out because we, we went back and forth in the past and we kind of squashed everything. And honestly, I, I would fight him. That'd be that'd be a super fun fight. He dominated Fusi, but Fusi just... He's a good guy, but, like, yeah, he's not a... He's oh, not you also some people just don't have it. Yeah, he's yeah. not meant for Why? it. You, did you knock out or just punch Fusi on that reality show? <laughs> you slept Fusi one shot. Yeah, that should be your leverage right. against Edgy. Like, yo, I mean, look how I did it. Whoa, whoa. I ended him in one shot. It took granted, you two rounds. Yeah, granted, we were both intoxicated, but like, who cares? It's yeah, shit talk. So. Like, yeah, he was he was talking shit. He was getting in my face. I thought of him as a threat at the time, and like, yeah, and that's, that's fine. Just, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just punched him in the face, and that that obviously was not warranted. I mean, he did touch a female. Oh yeah, that's right. He was being like, yeah, he, he grabbed a female by her face and shoved her. Can we see this? Yeah, what? you have to show the clip. So you're trying to save each other. No, f- you, you, all your oh. money's gone. Oh. Oh. He just met this girl, by the way. Weird that he's that comfortable just mush a woman's face. Then he touches Oh. oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Night, night. That's right, Bryce. That's, you yeah. took care of the bad guy. <laughs> That's good. That's like, nice. This guy is a fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to see Deji versus fucking uh, Mayweather. I if mean, he, I was if a- he lasts the entire fight with Mayweather, if Mayweather decides to like play it easy on him like he did Logan, and he goes, he goes, okay, I'm not going to knock this kid out. I was there it for takes- the Logan fight, though. They were going at it. They- but he's, he's, but Logan's 40, 50 pounds heavier than him. Deji and him are kind of similar in weight, and if he lasts yeah. all the rounds with Mayweather, it takes full credibility for Logan fighting Mayweather, kicks it right out the window. Wait, so yeah, now- but no, trust me, Like I think maybe he might not even try to knock out Deji, but he was trying to knock out Logan. If he could have taken Logan out, he would. I believe he would have. Do you think? Do you think he even can lock, knock out Logan being 50 pounds I think, lighter? Yeah, it's definitely nearly impossible when you have somebody that much bigger than you, but... You know, you've seen it. Look at how much Fousey weighed, and you put him down, you know? Yeah, but that It was... is possible, but yeah, it is Fousey. <laughs> I'm not saying he has the same chin, you know, like it's yeah. different, you know? But... I bet Logan has a fucking chin. Like, he was taking haymakers from KSI. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know. I think he just had, like, a hatred to the Paul brothers because of the whole situation, yeah. you know? They like, were, like with Jake and shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, big time. But I think he got the wrong guy. I think... I, what, think, I think Floyd just misunderstood who was who, and he picked the wrong Paul brother. Yeah, you know, I think that was an accident. I, I think I'm so, I'm so excited for this Deji versus Mayweather thing. But yeah, like in the future, 
like you were saying, like you were asking. Uh, I would love to fight Deji. If, if Deji fight. beats um, Winner Mayweather, of, he's yeah, not, he's not going to beat. Mayweather. I know, but let's no. just say if he beats Mayweather, does he oh, go? I want to like, fight him next. Does he go? Call out the to loser of the. <laughs> 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 no, 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 whatever. If, if he beats, yo, whoever loses this, I, I want the next. Yeah, beats yeah, Mayweather, <laughs> if he beats Mayweather, and I go in there and I fight Deji and I beat Deji, that would just be you become insane. the best boxer like, on the planet. That would be fucking insane. And then you go back in there. You know what? I claimed I was never a fighter, but now I'm the <laughs> now best I fucking, fucking boxer in the now world. I fucking am. No, Look at be, that redemption story. Yeah, no, it would it would be super fun. I would definitely fight Deji. I don't know how the buildup of that fight would be, but like I think it's gonna be a lot of very mutual respect. But you know, I'm gonna be trolling him. I think you guys are both big names, and you both have big. And then hey, who bases. knows? We come out of this, and we we make a competing uh, drink to. to prime. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that, that'd be that'd be interesting. Nice, you get them involved in blackout. Yeah, we'll do we'll do blackout. They do prime. All right, Bryce. Thanks for coming through. You crushed hey, thanks it. Thanks for having me, um, Steven, I'm proud of you. I hope this talk you know resonates with you and, and need that makes talk. a difference <laughs> uh, Steven's parents I hope you give him a call over this one. Oh my god <laughs> everything was true drugs. no more everything drugs everything was, do drugs. was true that we talked about he's cleaned up his act and uh, Cody thanks I guess whatever yeah, Dude, yeah. hit the music let's wrap it up alright boys let's go out for a nice Italian dinner huh <laughs> I was just saying that for the video I was lying I know <laughs>